Hello Gemini, and welcome to your weekend guidance message. This message will be for August 3rd through the 4th, and we'll have an intention for this weekend. If you find the message resonates, please feel free to like the video or comment below. All the love and support always helps the growth of the channel and is always very much appreciated. Also, if you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe to the channel. I offer monthly, weekly, and weekend guidance messages here on the channel. Um, I'm getting ready to kind of dive in and get some new content going. We'll see how that goes. No promises, but the monthly, weekly, and weekend guidance messages are for sure. I'm actually going to put the schedule for those down below in the description. So let's get started we're going to start with the wisdom of the oracle to get the overall energy and then we'll move into the regular tarot to get kind of the meat of the message or the storyline and then i'll get into the guidance at the end so what's the most important message for gemini spirit for august 3rd through the 4th what does gemini need to see what do my Gemini friends, the collective, need to see for this weekend. How can we guide them to have a good positive experience? Not for you. So this card, Gemini, symbolizes something being denied from you. And with this card comes kind of the understanding that everything happens for a reason. Rejection is God's protection, okay? So the oracle that comes with this card is, there are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard you work at something, the result you seek always seems to elude you. It's as if you don't really get to be in the game, and you feel you're just watching from the sidelines. The appearance of this card indicates that you are not going to attain what you want right now, that indeed your dreams for that exact thing will not be fulfilled. This is a time to radically accept that not everything is available to you when you want it. Take heart. For there are benevolent forces who desire the best for you and have a much clearer idea of what it is for your highest good. Rejection is God's protection. Something much better will make you truly happy is on its way. Trust this. So, Gemini, I'm getting the sense that you have been working really hard at something, maybe working towards a relationship, um, towards a career endeavor, and it's kind of been just barely out of your reach, okay? What this card symbolizes is trying to... Find that thing that truly gives you passion, okay? I feel like even if, for instance, if this was a relationship, there may have been some passion at one point within this situation, but it may have gotten stale or dull. But you still try and you still try to make it in hopes that it, it will be that thing once again. But I'm getting the sense that it's run its course for now. And even if this person, place, or thing comes back into your life, it's not going to come back in the same way it was before. So it's time to let it go. Okay? So let's see. What's the most important message? What is... Gemini need to see about this thing it's not for them 
Chariot. The Five of Swords. There's definitely a sense of walking away. <clears throat> With the Five of Swords, <clears throat> there's been a lot of conflict. A lot of pain within the situation. A lot of minced words. Okay? Some harsh words. Harsh things said. And I feel like what this card symbolizes is you may be trying too hard to resolve this conflict. Okay? But with the chariot card next to it, I feel like it's time to move on. It's time to move forward as quick as you can. Okay? Knight of Cups. I get the sense that this person was somebody who you leaned on emotionally. This person who you were in conflict with, they could have been a water sign. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I feel like their projection of the relationship was a little bit more lighthearted than what you took it as. And that could be... For instance, they thought of this as like a friendship or a side relationship or just to pass the time and you kind of fell for this person the hermit card you've taken a step back could be the other person but I feel like this is you Gemini I feel like you've kind of taken a step back from everything though not just this person I feel like you've taken some time away from every situation in your life to gain inner knowledge, a broader perspective, maybe even kind of recalibrating your life, you know. I feel like a change in perspective was needed and you knew this and that's why you took this time that's why you took a step back that's why I feel like right now you're still in this hermit mode okay two of pentacles and justice hermit two of pentacles and justice There's definitely bring, being justice brought back to this situation, whether it's within a court situation or it's just balance being brought. I feel like even though the universe is saying this isn't for you, I feel like this person knew what they were doing. Okay, they knew that they were taking advantage of you and they're going to get their karma for this. That's what I'm sensing. I do get the sense that you are conflicted still about this. And that's why you're seeing this reading. One thing I want to recommend Gemini Try to get clear on what this person, everything that has come to fruition within this relationship. I'm definitely getting the sense that this is a relationship, not a business partnership. I feel like this person has lied. They've deceived you. And I feel like you're kind of looking at things... from an optimistic perspective, which is okay, but right now you need to be a realist about this with yourself, okay? Because what the universe is saying is the more time and effort you keep putting into the situation, 
the more heartbroken that you're going to feel. You need to put the time and energy into healing yourself and building yourself back up. Focusing on yourself, getting clear on your intentions, focus on your business, focus on your career. I definitely get the sense that they were juggling two different people. But understand that there is going to be a balance brought back into the situation. You may or may not see this person get their justice, but you that's just how karma works. You can't go around treating people like crap and expecting you're not going to get crap thrown right back at you. That's why it's best just to like, you know, I know it sucks when people harm us and try to cause us ill ill will and ill feelings, but we just have to distance ourselves from the person and even if it frustrates us, try and understand that everybody goes through their own little things. And even though this is showing like a thief, like lying, deceit, um, trickery, definitely juggling within the situation, playing two different people, understand that everybody has their process they need to go through. And even though I know it sucks, understand that there were lessons that needed to be learned. I feel like you've learned your lesson within this. That's why you're in this hermit phase that you are right now. They still need to learn their lesson. I feel like they're still going through this process. Be assertive. Make a decision and stick to it. Get clear on what it is that you want within this situation for sure. You need to decide, are you going to stay or are you going to go and stick with it? But I am getting the sense that if you do decide to stay, there's just more karmic lessons I do get a sense that this weekend there's going to be some celebration going on. There's going to be kind of a lighter, more phase for you. There's still a process that you need to go through, okay? But it's understandable. Everybody needs time to mend. Part of mending is letting go and just relaxing. There's still a need to change perspective and I do feel like you're still healing. It's going to be a process, Gemini. You're going to some days feel good and some days you're going to feel not so well. Mercury is out of retrograde. When we're having these negative thoughts, that's why we need to try and find something that you love doing. Like, what are you passionate about? If there's like a painting class or a pottery class, Maybe some yoga. Maybe learn how to read tarot. Something that's going to take your mind off of this situation. Maybe focus on, like, a business venture. Okay, well, we'll take it then. We got moon cycles. Moon cycles popped out, like, three times. I put it back because it's just... In this deck, moon cycles does symbolize that the moon is affecting your energy in manifestation. It can also symbolize that things are going to take place within the next three moon cycles. You're going to start <clears throat> gaining clarity and seeing wish fulfillment coming through. Uh, things that 
things that you've been hoping for and dreaming of, they're going to be coming into fruition. Outdoors, go outside. With this and patience, because green symbolizes to me getting grounded, I feel like it's time to go outside, get some fresh air, maybe go for a hike, get in tune with nature, get grounded. Patience also symbolizes having patience with the process. Your dreams are blossoming right now. It takes time for that to happen. So have patience with the process. We all have these inner conflicts, these demons we have to take care of, these childhood traumas that we have to heal from, mend from. The good thing about most people watching tarot readings, they understand that that's the process that they're going through and they're willing to take the time with the self. Sometimes we just need reminders that that's what we're going through, okay? So, be well, Gemini. That is the message that I have for you. Thank you so much for all the love and support, the likes and subscribes. There's also a promotion going on my website if it's something you're interested in, naturalhealingtarot.com. The information is in the description. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.